Hi everyone, my name is Greg. I am the Food and Beverage Director for the Lake Erie Crushers. Uh, first off, I hope everyone is safe and healthy and um, we hope to see you out at the ballpark very soon. Um, what I am doing here today is I am trying to show some of the inspiration behind some of our most unique dishes at the ballparks. Uh, one of the things that we're doing today is we are doing a short rib sandwich. This is something that we are doing up in our sweets this year. Um, if you haven't had the opportunity to experience a game from one of our 11 luxury suites, it's amazing. It's one of the only areas in the ballpark where you're on a second level above everyone else. Of course, we do have two picnic areas on the first and third base side. Um, we like to do uh, hamburgers and hot dogs up there. No worries, but we also have some um, finer stuff such as short ribs, filet, um, we do some shrimp and some salmon. But today we're gonna concentrate on this dish. This is one of my favorite dishes. It's one of my favorite dishes to cook for my family. Normally I will serve this over a uh, mashed potato. Today, um, uh, and during the uh, year, we're gonna serve it with uh, some really nice ciabatta bread, some Swiss cheese, a little bit of lettuce and tomato, and earlier we did a caramelized onion mayo. First thing we want to do is we want to um, salt and pepper the short ribs and we're going to brown them in our pan. We want to get this pan nice and smoking hot before we put them in there. Um, and that is the uh, first step that we're going to do. With the short ribs, we're eventually going to take them, put them in a roasting pan with some, caramel or with some onions and some carrots, some celery, some fresh thyme, garlic, honey, tomato paste, beef stock, and of course red wine. So once we've browned all our meat and we've set it aside, put in our roasting pan, we're now going to um, cook off our vegetables a little bit. We're going to add um, our carrots, our celery. I want to get them all in there. Our onions. Get them all in the pan. We want to add our garlic and our thyme. Get all this cooked to get all the nice flavor in. Again, we'll do this for about two or three more minutes. Um, you want to just bring out the, uh, the flavor and the essence of uh, these vegetables. So now we got a pan that's nice and hot. We see that little layer of smoke coming out. We're going to toss in our short ribs. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. We want to get them, we want to put them, uh, that's pretty much a good start right there. We want to get them nice and brown on all sides, two to three minutes on each. Um, good. Once you've got your meat nice and brown on uh, one side, you'll flip it. Um, you'll know you've got a beautiful um, browning when you see those nice dark spots there. That's really just going to enhance, bring out the flavor of your meat. We're going to flip them, we're going to do them on the other side. So after we've cooked our vegetables for about two to three minutes, these ones have been going a little bit uh, uh, over three minutes. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the finishing touches to our uh, braising liquid. We're going to first add some red wine, just a, a couple of cups. Um, then we are going to add our beef stock. Some tomato paste. And then I also like to add some honey. It's about a quarter cup of honey. Put that in there. We'll get this uh, going to a boil and then we'll add it to our uh, roasting pan. Okay, so now that we have our pan is at a full boil, we are going to add it to our short ribs who have been sitting here uh, aside. Uh, I do want to add and note that um, we used two boxes of beef stock. Since this pan is only so deep, I can only do uh, one box in here. And then I put the other box already in here um, with my short ribs already. Now, when you pour this, uh, you want to make sure that you're very careful. Um, it's kind of heavy. You want to protect so you're not getting too much splash. 
You want to get all that into your pan. And then, like I said, we are going to top this. And we are going to stick it in our oven. And we are going to sit back for a couple hours and we're going to relax. All right. So now after three hours, our short ribs have finally reached perfection. Um, in the sweets, this is how it's going to come up. The short ribs will come up separately. You'll have your cheese, your lettuce, tomato, um, you'll have your ciabatta, and then you will have your onion mayo. So it's up to you how you want to finish it. Um, we're going to do it the way that I'd like to see everyone do it. We'll take the uh, ciabatta, and we'll take the uh, short rib. We're going to take it off the bone. You see it just breaks right off, just real nice. Place that on top of our piece of ciabatta. Take a couple pieces of cheese, a little bit of lettuce and tomato. Take some of this delicious caramelized onion mayo that we made. Put it right on your sandwich. There you go. Probably more of a uh, knife and fork style sandwich. But in closing, I would like to hopefully see everyone out at the ballpark. Uh, we hope everyone is safe and healthy. And uh, we will enjoy serving this to you. And have a, a great evening, everyone. Thank you.